video, I'm going to share with you how I'm using HoneyBook's lead forms inside my website design and system strategy business. So right now we're currently on my website and I use lead forms kind of like landing pages. So let me show you right now I'm on my website and I'm just going to take a little stroll here with you and I'm going to go down to our HoneyBook solutions. Now we have a, quite a few of solutions that we do offer to our clients, but one of them is a HoneyBook audit where we do offer HoneyBook audits to help you streamline your business and make sure that you are using HoneyBook to the max capabilities. But when someone comes to our website and they click on book audit, this is automatically going to route them to a HoneyBook lead form. So we built out this form and we, in essence, created like a landing page for this. This is where we can give even more details about our HoneyBook audit services. We've put who exactly it's for, what they'll get for it, how it actually works, a little introduction of myself. And I'm going to show you how you can create something similar to this right inside of HoneyBook. But with HoneyBook's lead forms, you are required to to enter a name and an email address. So a HoneyBook lead form is a front-facing form. So you can easily share this link, like just this link with someone for them to be able to book a service with you, whether it's paid, free, or they need to schedule a meeting with you or just give information. You can do that from a lead form. So they would put in their full name, their email address, answer any questions that you have, and then they'll go to the next page, which is for invoicing and payment. So let me show you what this looks like inside of HoneyBook. Okay, so right now I'm inside of my HoneyBook account. And as you can see, I have several different lead forms. Some are turned on, some are turned off. I like to turn some of them off when I'm not using them. And sometimes being the way that I use them, like if I'm doing it for like a boot camp, if the boot camp is no longer available for that time period, then of course I'll just turn it off. So a couple of ways that I'm using it, I'm gonna show you guys the audit form just so we can use it as an example. But for example here, this is an SEO checklist digital product. This is where you can use HoneyBook to sell your digital product. So we have one digital product loaded on here. Again, full description, everything. We even embedded a video so people can see what this digital product looks like. And then you're able to go through and embed the picture as well as the item for that digital product here as well. So product and have it sent right over to them. So that's pretty cool, especially if you don't already have some type of digital product platform or learning management system to be able to go through and send digital products. Now, most of our digital products aren't inside of HoneyBook, but let me show you how I use it mostly. So I'm gonna bring up the HoneyBook audit form. Right now, we're inside of the HoneyBook audit form that I have here, this lead form. And like I said, I use it for a lot of different things. I even use lead forms for booking consultations. So if someone wants to schedule an hour consultation, I create a lead form for that. So what I like about lead forms, you can create multiple pages similar to smart pages, smart files. You can go through and create multiple pages using your lead forms as well. So you can see the amount of pages from the top here or also on the side. OK, this is what you can see. Your clients would be able to see it a little bit differently on, from the top. All right. So we have here just banner image and then we have descriptions about who it's for, what they'll get. They'll, all of this is inside of the lead form, all fully customizable. All you will need to do when you're ready to go through and create a lead form is just simply just hit the plus sign. So maybe if I go back up to the top, go back up to the top here, and we can just hit this plus sign and it will allow you to be able to go through and add a block. So you can add blocks of content. So this would be for tags, questions, images, you could do videos, you can change the layout, you can even do action. So you can bring over your service offerings that are already inside of your HoneyBook account invoice and pay. So that's already on this particular lead form. And you can also do a scheduler. Like I said, I use it for when people want to book consultations with meetings with me. I have a lead form for that so we can get that done, right? So you can choose any of these options. So let's just say I'm just going to just choose this layout option here. When you put the layout option, it's going to bring up other layouts for you. So it gives you icon and tags. You have video tags. As you can see, there's a lot of different options with here. The possibilities of what you can create with this is, is really endless, really. I mean, there's so much that you can do and you can customize. 
But yeah, have fun with doing that. If you ever need to go through inside of lead forms, as well as smart files, pretty similar is that you can move sections. So for example, this little directional section here, you can just move it down to the next section. It's okay. So you can move it to the next section, right? You can also take the three little dots and you can duplicate a box. You can even copy boxes. I'll show you that in another video because that's pretty cool. And I can show you some use cases for that. You can move to the top, bottom, do the page, or you can even push the trash can, of course, to go through and delete it. Now, if we wanted to go through and just preview what this looks like, just so I can show you all of the screens, this is what this particular form looks like. So you can either link it, like so for example, with us, we have it linked to our website, but you can also share it on social media because you do have a front facing form, which I'll show you a front facing link. So I'll show you that here in a second. But this is what the form looks like, what the customer will see. Then they'll hit next and they will be presented with the invoice. So this pulls in from our services that we have from inside of our HoneyBook account. And they'll see that. They'll also see the payment schedule, which you can also adjust, which is another video for us. And then payment, right? And then they can make the payment and boom, they're inside of your HoneyBook account and they have them book that service. So to take it a step further, what I recommend too is customizing your settings, okay? So of course, maybe I shouldn't say of course, I want to make sure that I mention this is number one is that you can go through and brand it. So if you go through this little icon here at the top, you can completely go through and make sure that your form is branded to your company. I want my form to look like it's an extension of my website where people aren't confused, right? So you can go through and change the fonts, the headings, the text colors, all of that goodness. You can go through and you can change right inside of your branding section. Now you have this configuration setting, okay? So this is what I want you to look at here because there's a lot of things you can do here. Number one is that you can upload a customized thumbnail. This is what the client will be able to see when they're opening up their document as well as too, and you'll see it inside of your HoneyBook account. So I like to have all of my thumbnails looking good. And then you have your title, of course, of your form, but then you also have a form link. Now your form link normally would be like maybe a combination of letters or numbers, but you can customize the ending of it. So if I wanted to share this on social media, I could share it on social media. And again, that's why I kind of like using it as a landing page kind of sort of, right? You also have some automation settings that you can set for this particular form outside of your other automations that you have going on inside of your HoneyBook account, allowing you to be able to go through and streamline everything a little bit easier. So you have your confirmation email, you can check that on if you like, but you also have your automation. So we have an automation set up inside of our HoneyBook accounts called HoneyBook Audit. And all we do is just turn this on and then we find the automation. Like you see, we have several of them here, but we find that automation from our list and we connect that there. But wait, there is more because now you can also go through and you can tag people, contacts, prospects from lead forms. This is a fairly new feature that HoneyBook has rolled out where you can automatically apply tags to your contacts that are created upon submission. So when someone goes through, because this is something that we normally do anyway, is that we tag people based off of their interests and the services that they want from us. When they go through and submit this form, they are automatically tagged with HoneyBook service. You can customize your tags. Like this is all the tags that we currently have on our account. I think we're going to add some more, but those are the ones that we currently go through and add. The great, great thing is you can add a secondary tag if you would like as well. But if you need to change your tags or you want to start using tags, so go through and organize your clients as well as your projects by tags, you can do that from the company settings. Now, I skipped over this part because I got so excited, but you can also go through and send your leads to a special URL. So let's say you want to route them back to your website, or maybe there's another place that you want to go through and send them to, then you can do that as well too and just put that, that here. Otherwise, they'll be just routed to their HoneyBook portal. You hit publish and then you're all set to go. Now you have an actual lead form that you can go through and you can share 
with the world to be able to book your services, to be able to have people schedule meetings with you without having to go to your website if you just want to share the form with them. So this is a few ways that I go through and I use HoneyBook's lead forms. Let me know how you use HoneyBook lead forms inside of the comments. I would love to know because all of us have different businesses and I just like the all the ideas that are out there. So let me know how you're using HoneyBook lead forms. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel because I am going to be posting new videos every single week to help you do just that. And if you want to get started with HoneyBook, check the link in the description. I have a free 30% off link for you as well as a free guide to help you get started. So all of that information, you know, is in the description box. And until next time, keep learning and keep growing and I'll see you in the next video.